Hi guys, uh, Dr. Akui and I, uh, Dr. Akui is a general surgeon, Joe is a general surgeon and I'm a gynecological surgeon, but we work together, we're partners and we do all these complex surgeries together and we work on the Da Vinci robot and um, what's interesting is that in the medical community and the surgical community there's a lot of pushback against uh, robotic surgery. I call it I call it pushback against progress, it's sort of an anti-technological push and uh, I feel that uh, it's sort of a fear of technology, but um, I do believe that people who are against uh, uh, this technology are, are going against the future and are in the, on the wrong side of history. And I'd like to hear, Joe, what are your thoughts about this? I don't know if there's so much going against technology, but the learning curve for this device is tremendous. And I think there's a lot of, especially <clears throat> older surgeons, who will try the device and then not be able to overcome the learning curve for various reasons, but the bottom line is that the learning curve could be hundreds of hours. You need to have the, and I'm not putting it down, but you need to have the simulator, uh, hundreds of hours on the simulator, then you need to do uh, at least some lab like I did, and then you need someone like Dr. Vidali who, who is willing to uh, mentor you through cases. So although the technology is phenomenal, the, what you're saying is really a not so much a refusal of the technology, but it is, a, it is a high learning curve. And the younger people who are being taught this from the beginning of residency, I think, have a different view. Although I have to tell you something, you're a master surgeon, right? You're like the best surgeon that I know, oh. and that I've ever worked with, <laughs> I have to tell the truth. Okay, you're a liver surgeon, you're a cancer surgeon, you do extremely complex operations, much more complex than what I normally do. And uh, as a master surgeon, what I've noticed is that uh, a couple of years ago, when you first sat on the robot, it felt naturally. I didn't. I felt that if you know the operation, being on the robot becomes easy. I mean, you have to kind of learn the ropes about sitting there in the different environment. But I don't feel that the learning rope, the learning curve, is that steep. That's how I feel. Like when I saw you doing it, it was just. It felt very natural. Well, that's a good point. I gave a talk in in Belgium about two years ago, and the topic was given to me. It was called open surgery. Should it be a specialty? And I looked through all this robotic stuff, open things. And, and I had put a slide up and I put a picture of chopsticks next to a knife and a fork. Mm -hmm. And I told people, which is really true what you're saying, in order, uh, you can eat the same meal, but the utensils to get it in your mouth are different. So you have to know how to eat the meal, so to speak, but if the utensils are different, getting the modality for those utensils is, was, is the learning curve. Mm -hmm. But if you know the operation, it's just like another, uh, it's just like whether you make a, a, a you know, you take the highway, you take the, um, the, the slower road, you're still going to get there. My other perspective in this is, and I'd like to hear what you think about this, is that people are like, oh, you should just keep the robot just for the most difficult operations and leave the easy operations in, in laparoscopy. I don't feel that that's actually right because I feel that if you put a surgeon a, 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 who has never really done much robotic and you tell them, do your most difficult cases, they're going to get stuck. Um, so I feel like people should do also their easier cases on ro on robot. There's a cost factor, I understand it, but I feel since we're going in that direction, I think that that would probably be the better approach. How do you feel? I, I wouldn't make it so black and white. The way I look at the robot is that there are certain cases that are better open, there are certain cases that are better laparoscopically, above all, and there are certain cases that are absolutely better um, robotically. And I think it, you'll have more penetration with our colleagues if they understand that from the beginning. From a perspective of practicing and getting better at it, yes, doing, um, you know, let's say more mundane cases like for the general surgeon, uh, cholecystectomies and, 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 and cases like that, to get used to it, yes. However, um, I, I think it's equal, robot laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I agree with you on that. But, actual. but. I have to disagree. Except for the ICG, if yeah. it works. Yeah. But, but Having said that, it, it, what you're saying is true. To get more practice on it, that's fine. But I think there are there are, are modalities for each case. You know, look, look, they're, they're doing uh, big um, uh, hepatobiliary cases now on the robot. In certain selected cases, absolutely, it's better. In certain other cases, it's not. So we can't. We have the the message to the surgeons is that you can't apply this for every case in every area, but for in really uh, certain cases, it's better than using open or laparoscopic. Yeah. My perspective is that 
you can't just look at the outcome intended as did the patient wake up, was the patient fine, and was there no complication? Because then every surgery, is, every approach is gonna be equal, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that, well, you need to look at, the, one needs to look at the future, I think. I think that this device right now, of course, this is like, what, version three, the third version, the more, the more modern version, and it's gonna just get better. What I think is that once they start introducing new things, like recording movement, uh, looking at, um, at um, both the video, using artificial intelligence to uh, evaluate quality of the surgery or using crowdsourcing to look at these things, um, looking at economy of motion, recording all these things and, and looking at all these things from a data. This can be a, a device that's also a data collection device. So there is no equal. So I, I think there is no equal. Yes, you could do it, but when you're looking at the future, I don't believe that robotic surgery has any, any equal. No, it doesn't, but the, the point is there are different surgeries with different modalities, number one. Number two, what you said is correct about the, the device. You have to be in the technology in order to experience it. If you're not, it's like I said to you before, it's like waiting for the new computer to come out, so you're missing four generations of computer and you're out of the technology. I love when you say that. No, no, but it's true it's though. so smart. But, and, and I'm not, I'm, I'm for everything, but the, 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 the idea here is that, and you have to be in it to play it, but you have to also balance out which cases are, are, are better for this. And yeah. it's not every single, you know, case. But, and the problem was- Dr. Okuya is the voice of reason here. No, no, it's not, no, but it's not, no, it's not, it's not that this is discounted. It, yeah, it's, it's like, not. It's like saying, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a chef and I'm going to cook my whole meal in this small little frying pan. Yeah. Meanwhile, I've got all these other pots and pans that I can use right. that would be more adaptable for whatever the meal is. So it, it's really, it, and it doesn't take away anything from what you're saying. In fact, mm -hmm. it should add to it and it should give other surgeons, especially in our era, more impetus to say, oh, wow, I really have to get into this technology yeah. and not to undersell it or oversell it, but to sell it for what it is. Because there will be a point in time, you know, unfortunately, where even CMS is gonna record every one of your moves, then we're in big trouble. And, no, I don't think we're in trouble. No, no I'm just look, hitting, but. Look, you know, yes, but I mean, I think pilots, you know, everything a pilot does is recorded. And right. I mean, I know they get really stressed out pilots, but I mean, I guess that's the future for us doctors.